Hello, I'm ELD, and we've got a very different one for you here today, uh, addressing a bit of a controversy. Not typically very controversial uh, as far as our videos go. For the most part, the closest thing to that would be the uh, graphic nature of some of the beatdowns that can happen in Legacy, but for the most part, uh, nothing too controversial. And we had five Lotus Petals played in a single game, illegally, in one of our feature matches. So this wasn't an um, issue of recurring Lotus Petals. The person had five Lotus Petals in their deck, uh, which is distressing to say the least. But you know what? There's reasons why we have processes to deal with issues. You don't want to just get the pitchforks out when something happens. You don't want to ascribe bad intentions to people. And I'm happy to say that after looking into it and talking with the player, uh, he was absolutely mortified by his error. He completely owned it. He's been trying to play a different deck every single week and in shuffling cards around, uh, he had inadvertently played an illegal deck and uh, that was very distressing to him because, uh, you know, he came right out and said that he recognizes the fact that that could reflect badly on our community, that could reflect badly on my store and the events that we're running. And uh, he was he was really, really disappointed about it. And uh, what he's done is he's actually taken a very negative situation that could have been very bad uh, in a in a different type of community and instead completely owned it. And he's actually donated all of his prizes that he's won so far to be put into a pool for a, a gigantic bonus prize for upcoming events. Now, I'm going to figure out if that's going to be one event or two events, but that's going to be upcoming very, very soon. And then as a show of good faith, above and beyond that, he actually picked up another $100 worth of store credit uh, to give out as well. So just really the best possible type of response and I know there were some people that were pretty discombobulated to see that on camera. And, uh, you know, there's there's always a risk of ascribing bad intention. And you just have to be careful with that. you got to give people their day to, you know, talk about what happened, listen to them, and kind of go from there. And I can tell you, uh, as soon as I heard... Uh, John's response and heard in his voice the dismay and then to see the actions to take responsibility and to try and take a negative and turn it into a positive. I mean, I I can't really express the gratitude that I have for the type of community that we have. Now, that's not to say that, oh, these things are going to happen. I mean, that's it is unacceptable that it happened. Uh, anybody that uh, had played him in that event and would like a refund uh, of their entry fee as store credit, we can take that out of this pool if you want. Uh, that is totally doable. Uh, or if you just want to let it ride and uh, have that go back completely to the entire community as a random uh, door prize, that's also fine. I, I don't really have an opinion on that. Um, but that is that is what you do with the, the worst case scenario here. Uh, and we're trying to turn that into a positive thing. So it was a... It was a mistake. It's a careless mistake that shouldn't happen. And I think this highlights the importance of making sure when you're making changes to a deck that you're very, very careful. Pile shuffling can certainly help at the beginning of an event. Shuffling out, uh, I don't know if he was running 61 cards or if it was 60 cards, uh, but certainly if you have 61 cards and you expect to have 60, that's a super easy way to catch that. And, you know, it was, I'm not going to lie, it seemed very unlikely that this was a case of cheating. Uh, even though I don't know all of the players that have been playing with us online as well as I do our local players here, uh, just touching base with them a couple of times a week on our Wednesdays and Fridays, it is not exactly the biggest of brain plays to intentionally run five Lotus Petals and then play all five of them on camera. I mean, that's... that's pretty remarkable for somebody to actually do that. Uh, I feel like it's not a whole lot to manage to just keep in mind that you've got an extra one. If somebody were the type of uh, just deviant who would cheat in a weekly magic tournament, I mean, there's a real strong chance that they could keep that straight. It's not a super big ask. And um, yeah, yeah, I, I think overall this turned out as good as it possibly could. 
and I am grateful for the community that we have. I respect the fact that John completely owned this error and immediately, like, like he was trying to figure out, like, what can we do to solve this situation? And I think uh, both his, uh, you know, giving back the store credit that he has won and then going above and beyond that removes any doubt whatsoever in my mind uh, that this was any type of angle. I mean, that's just incompatible with the type of person that would uh, be looking to cheat in this situation. I mean, there's there's no doubt in my mind this is an honest mistake. I could hear in his voice that he was really torn up about it. I'm sure he'll be more careful as he continues to try and brew and innovate and play different things every week, uh, just knowing that it really can have a big impact uh, on the people that you're playing against and, of course, the community. So, again, that is it. Uh, I feel like we've covered it. I might be going around in circles here. We're over five minutes. I didn't expect this to be that long, but I will be posting in our discord about the upcoming bonus prize uh, it'll be at least a hundred dollars uh, per event uh, and we'll see we'll we'll talk about it with the community and see do we want just one big turbocharged wednesday or do we want to do like two back to back so we will get that sorted out but we're going to make sure that we take this negative and turn it into a positive worth celebrating thanks for watching